short wings. First of all, let's have a look at the broad wings. As the name of this group suggests, the birds in this category have particularly broad wings with enlarged primary and secondary feathers. The wings are often relatively long in relation to the body size as well, giving them a large surface area. In falconry terms, the phrase broad wing specifically refers to the family of raptors known as Bootios, which in Europe and here in the UK are referred to as buzzards, whereas in North America they are usually referred to as hawks, which causes some obvious confusion. These include species such as the common buzzard, a very abundant kind of raptor found here in the UK, and the red-tailed buzzard in North America, both of which have particularly large broad wings in relation to their body size and are frequently observed soaring at great altitude over large distances in search of prey. However, although the phrase broad wing is usually only made to describe bootios, it could technically also be applied to other broad wing species, including vultures, eagles and potentially even ospreys, who themselves have especially large broad wings in relation to their body mass. All of these species have the potential to be masters at soaring in flight, with especially large wings and enlarged primary feathers to maximise the amount of lift they can acquire, especially in situations where they can ride on thermals or other air currents to save energy. However, some of these birds, particularly Bootios and Eagles, still have the ability to move especially fast and turn with surprising agility in lowland areas and even in spaces of cover when in direct pursuit of their prey. Bootios, such as red-tailed and common buzzards, are able to hunt prey even in enclosed woodland areas, as well as being able to soar at high altitude over open ground to pursue prey that way. Broad-winged raptors can still reach surprising speeds in level flight when in direct pursuit. The golden eagle, for example, despite its large size, can reach speeds of up to 40 to 60 miles per hour in level flight. And though they may not be as swift as some other species of raptors in the initial acceleration after takeoff, they are capable of pursuing prey over somewhat greater distances. When it comes to hunting, however, eagles and larger bootios are arguably at their best when soaring at great heights and then dropping onto prey at great speed. These birds can fold their wings and plummet downwards at tremendous speeds, and while not quite the fastest birds on the planet, they can still sometimes reach speeds of over 100 miles per hour or more in a dive or stoop. Another species of raptor frequently considered to be a part of the broad wing family within the context of falconry is the Harris Hawk. This interesting species has physical traits similar to both Accipiters, the true hawks, and Bootios, the broad winged buzzards. In fact, the Harris Hawk's scientific name, Parabutio, means like buzzard, as they share many physical characteristics. Like the larger members of the true hawk family, that being Accipiters, Harris Hawks have an especially long tail, but their wings appear to be comparatively broader than those of true hawks such as the similar sized goshawk, with primary feathers that appear to be marginally longer in comparison. While usually not quite as large as those of other true bootios such as red tail and common buzzards in relation to their body size, their wings still seem to be somewhat more buzzard-like than those of the short wings or true hawks. With these relatively broad wings, Harris hawks can, in the right conditions, soar about as effortlessly as most true bootios. They can also glide swiftly across open ground and into cover in pursuit of prey, with their long tails providing them with extra agility. With this long tail providing extra manoeuvrability in flight, combined with wings that are not too long to prevent them from flying into cover, and Harris hawks are remarkably versatile flyers, almost a jack-of-all-trades kind of bird, if you will. Contrary to frequent opinion, Harris hawks once fit are not slow at all, and while still not quite as fast as the best goshawk, they are still capable of chasing down some of the swiftest game in all kinds of environments. The next group of discussion is the long wings, which encompasses all of the falcon family, including species such as the Jer falcon, Lana falcon, and of course, the infamous peregrine falcon. 
These birds often have especially long wings in relation to their body size, with particularly enlarged primary feathers with pointed tips, giving their wings an almost sickle-shaped appearance. These long and powerful wings are usually not as broad as those of buzzards or eagles, although some larger species of falcons can have broader wings than smaller ones. This wing shape is designed specifically for generating maximum speed and power in flight. As mentioned earlier, falcons have a relatively high wing loading, mostly because their wings are comparatively more narrow and streamlined than other birds, but also because they have a comparatively heavier muscle mass to generate the powerful wing beats needed for acceleration in the first place. The muscular power of a falcon, combined with its aerodynamic wing shape, is what enables them to reach such high speeds. In fact, falcons are almost incapable of flying slowly at all as a result. As well as travelling at great speeds, some falcon species, for example the Jura falcons, are also known to travel great distances when hunting across open tundra, relying on their sheer endurance as well as their speed to chase down prey in level flight. Of course, long wings are best known for reaching their tremendous aerial speed when they enter their famous dives or stoops, and in this context, the fastest of them all is of course the peregrine. Their most famous hunting technique is flying high at great altitude, and then upon spotting prey down below them, they close their pointed wings against their bodies, plummeting downwards at speeds that can reach up to 200 miles per hour or more. When descending into a high-speed stoop, a peregrine will often angle its pointed wing tips against its body, with the anterior edge of its wings protruding somewhat from either side of the body. It has recently been discovered that this particular posture, known as the cupped wing position, is a component in enabling peregrines to reach such high speeds. The streamlined shape of this posture significantly reduces drag, and flowing air is squeezed into channels going underneath each of the wings. Because this channel of air is compressed under the wings, it travels considerably faster, therefore propelling the peregrine forward and enabling it to go even faster. This phenomenon is known as the Venturi effect, and it is also seen in Formula 1 race cars, which enables them to go even faster. To travel even faster still, the peregrine will completely close its wings and form a perfect teardrop shape, reducing drag even further as it goes into a freefall. The tremendous speed and aerial control of falcons like the peregrine makes them incredibly effective predators, especially of other birds in flight. Able to plummet out of the heavens at hundreds of miles per hour and strike prey with devastating force and precision. Intense speed, but also power and endurance, are the trademark hunting qualities of falcons like these. After broad wings and long wings comes the final group, the short wings. This falconry terminology is used to describe the family of birds known as exhibitors, or the true hawks. Perhaps most notable of this family group is the northern goshawk, the largest and most powerful of all living true hawks. However, there is also the Eurasian sparrowhawk, a much smaller but more abundant species that can be found in Britain and Europe, alongside the similar-looking North American Cooper's hawk and sharp shin hawks. All of these birds are dynamic aerial predators that can hunt in a range of different environments, but their stronghold is of course wooded country, or indeed anywhere with partial or extensive cover. Species in this group tend to have relatively short or medium-length wings, which are relatively broad and rounded, with comparatively shorter primary feathers compared to birds such as buzzards. They also have especially long tails in relation to their body size, and their plumage tends to be somewhat stiffer and more streamlined than that of soaring raptors. Short wings are certainly capable of soaring, but their main aerial strong point is making dashing, agile manoeuvres pursuing prey on the wing, especially over short distances. Like long wings, they beat their wings very rapidly in flight for takeoff and to sustain their pursuit, and in terms of their initial acceleration, some exhibitors are second to none. A goshawk, for example, can reach up to 40 to 50 miles per hour in level flight when chasing prey, but their initial acceleration is what's truly impressive, for they can reach near maximum speed in what seems like a matter of seconds. 
A fit exhibitor can chase down prey over considerable distances, but their initial burst of speed is what gives them their true advantage. Having such long tail feathers in relation to their body size, true hawks like goshawks and sparrowhawks are incredibly manoeuvrable birds, able to twist and turn in flight when pursuing prey at high speed, almost mirroring its movements. Their long tail can also act as a brake, fanning out in mid-flight, which enables them to make very sharp turns around stationary objects, for example when flying past a tree trunk in pursuit of a rabbit, for example in the case of a goshawk. These birds are also infamous for their ability to manoeuvre through cover while maintaining the high-speed pursuit of a moving prey item in thick undergrowth. Because of their relatively short wingtips, exhibitors can fly through gaps that many other longer-winged raptors would struggle to get past. To squeeze through even smaller gaps, goshawks and sparrowhawks, for example, will often sometimes completely close their wings momentarily to slip through gaps between trees, whilst fanning out their long tail feathers to act almost like a third wing, maintaining lift. A short wing, therefore, is able to maintain its pursuit of moving prey in thick undergrowth, in positions that would cause other birds to break or even abort the chase altogether. With their incredible aerial acceleration, alongside their unmatched agility, short wings are truly extraordinary predators, and are a force to be reckoned with, especially in their domain of woodland territory, where the unique flight style and hunting techniques of this group truly comes into its own.